Lying to a superior officer? What you did dishonors this city and dishonors the badge. Not only are you off this investigation, I'm putting you both on administrative leave effective immediately. Sir, don't you serve me. You don't deserve to wear the uniform. Now hand over your badges and guns. Detective Beckett. on its way. It'll be there in 20 minutes. The hostages will be dead, too. No, nobody he needs to die, okay? It's coming. It's just, it's stuck in traffic. We have rules. Kate, I said I wouldn't kill anyone. You said you'd get me a bus. I lived up to my end of the deal. And I'm gonna live up to mine. I just... I warned you not to jerk me around. No, I was clear about the consequences. Do I have to prove how serious I am? Is that it? Okay, I, I think we both just need to take a deep breath and we can talk about... I'm this. done talking! <laughs> what was that? A warning shot, Kate. The next one's for the kill. Don't you touch him, you Say, son of a bitch! Hold, hold her back. Keep I got this. Off. I'm gonna make pretty red stains out of your boyfriend, Kate. I got my gun to his throat, and I'm gonna paint a Jackson Pollock with his insides. You need to calm down. Listen to me, jackass. I do not control traffic, so you're gonna have to give me 20 minutes. Now you got one minute, Kate. No. I've got 20. Do you hear me? 20. Because if you pull that trigger. I will walk through those doors and personally put a bullet through your skull. Okay, Kate. You got 20 more minutes. Well, that's one way to negotiate. of this situation. Senator Bracken, do you have any enemies? Is there anyone that you can think of that would like to kill you? I get threatening letters and emails all the time comes with the office. My chief of staff keeps the file. Anyone with a legitimate claim? Man doesn't get to my position without upsetting people along the way. Most of them aren't crazy enough to want to try to kill me present company excluded you know senator i'm not the one that you should be worried about right now it's just us here detective a shooter on the loose me in the crosshairs must be a dream come true for you in my dreams i'm the one that gets to pull the trigger but you know what? If you're not comfortable with me leading this investigation, you're welcome to step outside and tell everyone why. Well, then I guess we're stuck with each other. So then let me make one thing clear. This man killed Melanie Rogers, and when someone commits murder, whoever he is, Senator, I will bring him to justice no matter how long it takes. You're trying to confuse me. <laughs> trying to trick me. You're saying something I shouldn't. Trying to take down Brack and same as you. And we gotta do it in the right way. You and me are on the same side, Robert. You're on his side. He controls everybody. You're all in his pocket. Every last one of you! No, I'm not. I'm just like you, Robert. She's losing him. You're not like me. You're making stuff up, making up stories. If you went through what I went through, you would want to see him dead. Everything that I told you was true. Robert, look at me. Where's the C4? 
before. If that thing goes off, then there's blood on our hands, and I cannot live with that, and I know that you can't either. Detective? A word. Sir, detective. Garma, I'm going to ask you again, what else can you tell me about Roger Henson's murder? I don't have to tell you nothing. I know my rights. You can't keep me here. He's dead. Tortured. I'm just trying to find the people that did it to him. Listen, bitch. I don't talk to cops. Now go get me my lawyer and then go to hell. Do you have any idea what this is all about? You think I'm some beat cop busting you on possession charges? My partner's daughter is missing and you are in my way. Now you don't talk to cops. I'm not a cop today, honey. Who was he working for? He didn't say. Who's this guy? I don't know. What? But Roger got strange calls in the middle of the night. People with accents. What kind of accents? Foreign. What phone did he use? He didn't give me the number. Good. I believe you. Now you're going to give me his address. 